This is Kumari. She lives in a small village in India. From the time she was born, Kumari grew up in abject poverty, an outcast from society. She married at 13, but became a widow shortly after her third child was born. She had never been to school, did not know how to write her own name, and had no vocational training. Unable to read or write, she was fearful to even leave her village. She had no hope for this life or the next. One day, Kumari's life was transformed when teachers from a local church supported through Glad Tidings India came to visit her village. Over the next 10 months, they taught Kumari and her neighbors to read and write, hygiene and sanitation, the risks of drug and alcohol abuse, and self-empowerment skills. Now, Kumari has skills she needs to provide for herself and her children. She can read and write, which has given her independence and helped reduce her fears. She understands how to count money and is part of a group that pools resources for community emergencies. With support through Glad Tidings India, the local church has helped the community understand the importance of sending their children to school and stopping the practice of child marriages. They have provided sewing machines for the most impoverished, giving Kumari and several others a way to quadruple their income and provide for their families. They put in a bore well, saving the women of the village the two-mile walk each day to fetch water. For the first time, everyone in the village has access to clean water, improving personal hygiene and preventing illnesses from waterborne diseases. With over 1.3 billion people, India currently has more people without sanitary water than any nation in the world. It also has the most number of illiterate people and the most living in modern slavery and servitude. This is why Glad Tidings India and its partners in India have been helping move people of India from most to least for over 60 years. They also have been training teachers in morals, ethics, community rehabilitation, establishing home fellowships, and distributing literature throughout the country. Glad Tidings India believes in a vision in which villages throughout India have clean water, literacy is increased, essential life skills are taught, so that stories like Kamari's can be repeated again and again.